Hello. I'm gonna be redoing the the gloom hand location thing. I gotta add some locations on top of the ones that are already here. So I'm not gonna spend too much time and we're just gonna Okay, so I'm gonna do it in a different order. I'm gonna sort of circle around the map and hopefully I can find and get through them all in one go without missing some. We're gonna be starting off here at the you know, I'll say it as I go. I'll say it as I go. I'll teleport here and then I'll state the shrine. Okay, so the first oh something's going on. Oh it's the sage ability. Anyways, okay, so the first Gloom Man location that I'm going to be discussing is the one at the... Let me move on. The Mai Ya Taki Shrine. This is located in the North Lome Labyrinth, which is all the way up here. And you're going to find your way out here. And once you turn around the corner, you'll find a Gloom Hand. Right there. That's our first. We're gonna go to the next one. I'll leave them be. Okay. So the next one is at the Kikakin Shrine. Not directly here, but it helps using this in order to get to the one over here. I'm gonna make a device that I can use to get to that little platform island over there. It's gonna take a while, so I might edit this part out. So yeah, once you leave the shrine, you come here. Now, there's a there's a chance that you'll find a Poe here. And I guess you just get rid of it. But after you get rid of the Poe, and you wait around a bit, there should be a Gloom Hand that spawns it. But I think you have to make sure that you get rid of the Poe first. And then after a while, the Gloom Hand shows up. Yeah, this is the the May the Makar Island. It's right next to the Korok Fort. Okay, so for our third location, we're gonna be going to this tower, the Lindor's Brow Sky View Tower. Now, for this, there's like there's two gloom hands in this in this area, but the one we're focusing on is on the is up here on the surface. And we're gonna make our way all the way down here. Okay, so once we've made our way down here to the Marita Exchange Room, we're gonna be walking our way over here and a gloom hand should spawn right in the middle, in the center right here. Yep, there he is. But we're gonna keep the pace up and the fast pace. So we're gonna be making our way to the Taki in a Bond Shrine. Okay, so once we make it to the Taki and the Bond Shrine for our fourth Gloom Hand, we're going to be taking a look down here, and we'll find our Gloom Hand.
I hope this doesn't trigger any stories, seeing things. I'm kind of in the middle of a story event, and hopefully it doesn't trigger anything. I have a quest marker at Hyrule Castle. Okay, so once we make it to this shrine, up uh, there's story stuff. I'm actually in the middle of the Hyrule Crisis thing, so I guess I'll skip past. So once we make it to the Sar Saruta Bomex Shrine, we're gonna make our way down here. Now, you don't need this shrine, but it makes it more convenient since you're already on top of the castle and you can just drop down. We're gonna be finding two bloom hands in this area. Now the first gloom hand I'm gonna address is the one over here. Now for this gloom hand, we're gonna enter the cell right here. And then you gotta make your way past these two like likes. Let's see if I have something that we can use to sneak past them. Now, since they don't have eyes, that didn't work. I'm just gonna run past them regardless. Okay. So we're gonna find our gloom hand right here. In this cell. Now, I don't know how to get in the cell. Like I said before. But maybe I'll figure that out someday. Right now, I'm just gonna... Do other stuff. Now for the next gloom hand location, it's gonna be in a spot where you can actually find the high rule the high ruling shield. Yeah. You can find the high ruling shield where our next gloom hand is featured. And after you beat this gloom hand through certain conditions, you would get the Highland Shield. I'll do a demonstration, I guess, or I'll show what it is. Oh, <laughs> I picked the worst time to run out of stamina. Anyway, so in order to get the Highland Shield, You'd make your way up here, light the torch, fight the gloom hand, and then there would be a chest that appears up there, and that's how you would get the Highland Shield. But I already got it, so I can't show you it. I'm also trying to speedrun this video, so we'll be moving on to the next one. Okay, so the next gloom hand that I'm going to be showing is located in this area. We're going to move around a bit. And it should be located right here. I'm guessing he doesn't want to show up at the moment, but this is where you would normally find the gloom hand. Okay, so, another location would be here, at the Su Suya Shrine. I didn't mention it before, but the, the previous one that I went to was at the Renzi Shrine. 
this for reference I didn't make once you make once we make our way from this shrine we're gonna go to the art marker and run into Glumia. Now if we don't that's fine. It's like the kind of iffy on whether they'll show up or not. It's like sometimes where the gloom hand will appear and it just won't. You kind of gotta wait it out a bit. But the gloom hand would be in this area usually. Okay. Oh wow, would you look at that, some blood moon. But, anyways, our next one, we make our way from the Rio Gok Shrine all the way into the forest to meet our buddy Gloom Hands, which should spawn in in a few seconds. If he doesn't, it's fine. But, oh, there he is. Nice to meet you too. Anyway, on to the next one. I do apologize if this if this feels rushed. I'm trying to <laughs> shorten the video as long as possible, but anyways. Once we make our way to Hyrule Field Skyview Tower. We're going to go over to the Komolo Garrison room. Now, I went to the tower because I can just launch myself up here and then simply just glide over to the ruins. Now, I probably could have just walked, but I think this will be quicker. Now that we're here, the Gloom Man would be somewhere in this area. Maybe... It'll spawn in for me, maybe it won't, but you'll find it in this area. Yep, there it is. On to the next one. Okay, so the next loom hand that I'm going to be going to is in this area. It's kind of the Eastern Abbey ruins kind of but it's right here where i found it like right outside of the great plateau down here honestly you could you could make your way to it from like any point last time i did it i did it from like the underground or from a different shrine it took me a while i'm gonna see how long it takes me to get there from this point so I think it might be quicker to just make your way from the shrine that I went to. Because this was a lot faster than the, the other shrine that I went to. I'm getting here. Once we make our way in this area, the gloom hand should show up under these trees to greet us, like so. Okay, so once we make it to the Sioux Sub Shrine under here, we're gonna make our way to the surface. I can find the right. Once we make our way to the surface, we're gonna walk our way over here. Now, like I suggested before, be careful when approaching this ruin, because you're in the water, 
and it slows down your running speed. But if you get cl too close to the gloom, it's going to be hard to run from. Look at that. Dragon. Yeah, once we make our way to the Moroke Shrine, we're just gonna jump down here. And as we jump down here, there should be a Gloom Hands that appears in this area. Yep, right there. Okay, so we're here at the Mount Lanayru Skyview Tower. I'll just put something on the warm up tank. There's the that isn't it. So once we reach here, we're gonna go behind it, sort of. Let me find it. Yeah, we're gonna go behind the tower and just make our way downwards. Go to this heart. It might be a bit tricky to find this spot, but it's behind the tower and it should be right here. Let me try and make it close up. Yeah, if you if you go to the the Mount Lanayru Skyview Tower, and you make your way to the Spring of Wisdom, and then you walk down the path, because there's a pathway that I went down originally, and there's you make your way to these these rock formations sort of here, you should find it. Okay, so we've made our way to Upland Zorana Skyview Tower. It is probably going to be the easiest if you start from this area, because the Gloom Hand is all the way in the forest, or the woods down there. And maybe you could drop down from the sky, but I think the tower is probably the most convenient point to drop from. Unless you probably did the shrine in that circle thing, if there is one in there. I gotta go back and do that. Yeah, there is. You could just drop down from the shrine in the circle area. Or we use the tower in this case. Okay. We're just gonna drop down here. Once we make our way area, should spot a gloom hand. Now it may or may not show up. No. Usually at the wait around up and it fortunately showed up. But yeah. This gloom hand is in the forest or the taba. Alright, I don't know how to pronounce it, but the Tabal Woods, that's what I'll call it. It's in this area. So, you could just find it where this marker is. Might be a bit tricky to find. I'm sure you'll stumble upon it in the woods. Okay, so we're getting close to the final locations, but one of the very last locations is this location here. The Domezun Shrine this is in the Akala Citadel Ruins. That's what we'll be 
finding the flint hand. I think this is a pretty famous gloom hand spot for most people. I think a lot of people know of the gloom hand in this area. But here he is. Okay, now that we're at the Sina Tanika Shrine, that's in the Kala Highland, we're going to be making our way to the Kordorak Quarry. Okay, so once we make our way here to the Kordorak Quarry, we'll find the Gloomhand spawning somewhere around here in these rock formations. I think it usually likes to spawn here, or somewhere nearby that area. Yep, right there. And I, he usually drops, like the Gloom Hand usually drops the club that does like 50 attack. So it's definitely a worth it spot to stop by if you want to get the Gloom Club. Okay, so our second to last gloom hand spot is going to be here in the Lome Labyrinth Island at the Igashuku Shrine. Actually, I think it's Igashuk. Yeah, the Igashuk Shrine. It's going to be found in the Akal Sea area. Once we go to this shrine, you gotta hop down the Lobe Labyrinth Chasm and drop down here to this lair sort of spot. And then you'll find a Gloom Hand here that you would fight. Now, I think that Gloom Hand also has a Gloom Club. I don't exactly remember. I think it does. That's another spot you could keep in mind. Okay, so for our last overworld gloom hand spot, it's going to be located in this area. Now, I'm not sure what would be the closest spot to teleport to. It might be this, but for this video, I'm going to be using the Geotalk Shrine, but feel free to use any other spot to make your way down here if you want. Put on the Yeah, once you make your way over here, I'm going to drop down here, and we should find the Gloom Hands right here. Now I'm guessing it doesn't spawn in for the moment. Oh, never mind. It did spawn in. Yeah. If it makes it easier on how to find it. It's between the Darunia Lake and Inobu Kao HQ. So it's between these two areas, right around this spot. You should find it. So that was the last overworld bloom hand. Now things get a bit specific. There are two other Gloom Hands spots, but they aren't in the overworld, which is like Hyrule. They're in the depths. 
So for the first depths location, you would make your way over to the Korok Forest. Once you're in the Korok Forest, you'd make your way into the Great Deku Tree. As you're making your way into the Great Deku Tree, there's this hole that you would jump into. Which is right here. And as you dive into this chasm, at the bottom there would be a gloom hand. But this is kind of a story related thing. So it only appears if you haven't like cleanse the Deku tree of it. But when you'd be doing the story quest, there'd be a gloom hand down here. And the next the next and final gloom hand location would be located down here in the Hyrule Chasm. In the Hyrule Castle Chasm. Now I'm not gonna show it because that's kind of like big spoilers kind of thing. That's like end game thing, so I won't show that because there's a fair amount of people who haven't beaten the game, I'm guessing. So I won't show that part. But it would be down here as you're trying to finish off the game, you would find it in this area as like the second and final gloom hand. So yeah, that was the final gloom hand out of all of them. I think there's about roughly 18 or more gloom hand spots to find them. If you were looking to farm them. I already made an original gloom hand location thing, but I saw that there was other locations that I had missed when looking them up on Google and Safari. I found more. I thought I'd update things and add the other location so people have more to look for. And this is me trying to be somewhat consistent on my not-so-consistent channel. Yeah, like usual, I hope this guide proves to be of more use to you in your playthroughs of Tears of the Kingdom. I hope you guys all have fun playing this game, as I am too. Yeah, I will see you guys later.